Hi guys, Hyperlatter here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some Squad Deathmatch from Bad Company 2. In this video, I wanted to touch on two short things, so it's not a long video, and the two topics are not that long, so I thought I'd be able to fit it, fit them together in a small or a short time period. So here goes. The first thing is. Um, actually a cool new project from Pixel Enemy. Now if you don't know Pixel, El Ugh, Pixel Enemy, it's a um, it's a channel that aggregates content from different um, contributors and um, it's kind of like uh, what you've got going with the Machinima Respawn or s something of that uh, of that kind. So the the great thing about Pixel Enemy is that it hasn't the same uh, Call of Duty focus, so you'll find gameplays from uh, Bad Company 2, you'll find some Crisis gameplay, and well, a lot of different games uh, than just COD. So it's a nice change of um, scenery, I guess. And um, they now got a new secondary channel called uh, uh, Pixel Enemy Revive. I'll put a link in the uh, description to that channel, which will only feature battlefield gameplay so it's a new effort to kind of bring together the battlefield community so much in the same way as don't revive me bro brings together the community so does also um, pixel enemy revive so definitely go over there and sub to the channel um, I'm actually really sure that it's going to be a lot of great content from a lot of different uh, battlefield uh, um, battlefield players and commentators on YouTube so I urge you to check out the channel uh, the link is in the description the other thing I want to touch on is um, something completely unrelated actually it has nothing to do with either pixel enemy battlefield or pixel enemy revive for that matter um, it seems that the day of this recording uh, which is um, April 5th it's been one hell of a day with um, weapon balancing videos. Um, I've actually watched uh, a video on Homefront, which I mentioned in my previous commentary, where we X regards X talk about the um, Homefront and also mentions the balance of the weapons. Um, I watched, as I also mentioned in my previous commentary, a video, rather horrible video, on. Um, on a comparison of the M4 and the G36C in Call of Duty 4. And later, I watched a video of Woody's Gamer Tag and T. Martin, who was playing a. They were playing a uh, game battles 2 on 2, and T. Mart was using an Enfield. And that just reminded me that Black Ops has a really balanced gun set when you choose to use an Enfield in a game battles game because the Enfield is one of the first assault rifles that you unlock and most usually those aren't the best uh, but the fact that you see such a wide variety of weapons being used in serious game battles games or just seriously and professionally I guess it just speaks to the balance between the guns and that it all comes down to preference instead of the one beastly gun that uh, just <laughs> owns everything else I guess as you did see in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops and a lot of other well balanced games it's all about the preference not about which gun is the best so this is the end of the clip I barely make it <laughs> um, well, I mostly covered what I wanted to say, and um, I hope to see you next time. Snackies.